Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. I've got a quick tip for you. This is an old Jacobs chuck and it's fitted still to part of the shafting from an old drill that was completely dead. The motor was completely dead on that drill. What I've done is I've loosened up the chuck. It was all seized, but I've freed it up just by gentle application of spray oil and a bit of tappy tap with a hammer and then putting the, the big stilts in around it and just wrenching off the outside with a cloth wrapped around it. But I want to get it off the shaft and so inside here There'll be a little thread like this, and this is a SDS type chuck adapter. So I'm going to see if this one fits, but to get it off, you fit up an Allen key. The bigger, the bigger you've got, the better, into the chuck. Tighten it up and put a bit of force on it. And it should come free. Oh, there it is. So let's just open that up. Wrong size. And then there is a thread covered in penetrating oil at the moment. Let's give that a dry off. I have a feeling this is going to be the wrong size for me looking at this, but nevertheless, I've got a spare chuck now. So, yeah, it's the wrong size thread, but still, I've got a Jacobs chuck. What's that model number? K30. So, yeah, that's useful, useful to have around. And that's how you get your chuck off a drill if it's completely stuck. You need to be able to grip it somehow. But once you can grip it, sometimes there's a, a, a face inside here that you can get a spanner on, like this. Battery drills tend to have this, that you can get a spanner on the back and then fit an Allen key or something like that into the chuck. And it needn't be so long, it's just to get the, the longer you have the better leverage. And then you can unscrew it. Thanks for watching, see you later.